reducing funds, reducing power, reducing scope, demil demilitarization. And these are some, and again, not all of it, the, some of the really crucial tenets that of course is also geared towards building safe alternatives, building safety. So if we understand policing as a kind of violence, of course, defunding the police as a movement is about ending violence. It's about ending harm and understanding police as one of those harms, but of course not the only one. So it means actually choosing as a society to invest in things like community-led anti-violence initiatives, like 24-hour childcare, like safe beds for people experiencing alcohol and drug intoxication, like health promotion programs and restorative justice uh, workers trained to manage conflict and mediation, free TTC instead of uh, funding transit enforcement. There are so many ways to end and approach an end to violence in this society that continue to be underfunded or under addressed as we see the mass billions and billions of dollars that are going towards the policing of our communities.